remember the Rockford Files? Ooh, I mean me. Remember Lawrence Welk? Oh, yeah, I did that. Moon River is my favorite. Someday. Hey cuties, I hope you're having a good time. Actually, I don't care. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. I can't even think about thingy tingy wings right now. Take this, cutie. Oh, I can finally go? Thanks. I am out of fuck tickets. <laughs> Leave our friend alone, Bean. Don't mess this up, dickbag. New kid. After we beat you guys up, do you want to buy a raisins calendar? Huh. Ah, yeah. Try to give a fuck, will you, Craig? Sure, you bet. Avert your eyes, children. The coot is about to get into some adult situations. Get me. <laughs> Thanks for saving me the trouble of flipping that shit head off. Deals with personal space invaders. I'm so glad you guys are here. <laughs> you fuck with the coon, you answer to his friends, right, guys? Okay, here we go. I have had it with this shit. Guess it's just on us now, friends. Don't call me that. Punch someone for the coon, Fart Lord. Another foe hey. falls before the might of coon. This really do solve everything, you guys.
superhero meanies mess with the wrong Raisins girls. Are we having fun yet, cutie? Come find out. What's the matter, meanie? Do pretty girls scare you? <laughs> Now you're scared of us? That vigilante's taking all the fun out of law enforcement. Who are you supposed to be? Tidy Liberace? Go on through. Kinda busy, kid. Maybe later. Good work on clearing that kingpin, little crime stopper. I wish I had a hundred more like you on the force. That gumption, Crime Stopper. Huddle up, it's selfie time. Aha, now I can monitor you on the internet. Rookie mistake, superhero. Good work collaring that kingpin, little Crime Stopper. I wish I had a hundred more like you on the force. You really violated that guy's civil rights with gusto. You'd make a great cop. Good work collaring that kingpin, little crime stopper. Microbrewery. You'll find a person inside who can assist you with race. Good luck. Super Craig, out. And now you got a problem with me! I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity. I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me! Did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggression! Ah! 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 Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand! But I am tired. Oh, oh, uh. You! You're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. You want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? Yes, very good. That was indeed not a microaggression. All right, round two. I ate a hamburger last week. All right, that was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, Thank you, Michael Christian. About to happen. Thank you. 
My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression. Hit him. Oh. Oh. Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards a person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. I heard it's going to rain. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression! Hit him! Uh, uh. Nice kid, very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. Remember kid, people use microaggressions every day. I'm counting on you to make them pay for doing so. A true warrior is understanding, non-biased, and as politically correct as possible. Make sure you fart on all races and creeds equally, Vigilante. Be inclusive in your crime fighting. Sorry to marginalize you, youngster, but this isn't a safe space for minors. You should use your powers for social justice, new kid. A true warrior is understanding, non-biased, and as politically correct as possible. Sure, let's do it. Why aren't you a brave little whatever you are? Why aren't you a brave little whatever you are? Where's the party, people? Life's wasting! Dress for the job you want, bro. Have you seen my cat? I bet you can really let them rip, kid. Is your cat missing too? Man, I'd probably be a master farter if I applied myself more. The farting vigilante stinks. Darn it, kiddo, why can't you just sit home and read the funny books like a normal fella? Hey there, little menace to society. Don't you look snappy today. I suppose no one bullies you around, little superhero. At least not too much. The farting vigilante stinks. Pop stunt your growth, child. Do you want to grow up to be a short person? Farting is a privilege, child, not a right. You drink the tap water here, don't you? Yeah, I bet you do. The government has its eyes on you. Pop stunt your growth, child. Do you want to grow up to be a short person? The children in this town need to learn to control their bodily functions. Farting is a privilege, child, not a right. You sure are the weirdest superhero I've seen all day. Okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> Thanks, kid. But that was a real cool picture. Hey there, little menace to society. Don't you look snappy today. I suppose no one bullies you around, little superhero. At least not too much. My lord, I have to say I'm mildly impressed with the progress you're making. Come to the coon lair. I've got a little surprise for you. Woo! <laughs> 
she needs to be more assertive. Yeah, but not too assertive, or her snowballs will think. She's a snow bitch. Side of raisins, okay? Mosquito out. Oh man, I am wrecked! Here, pussy pussy! Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, Butt Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys. Can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Right behind you, Mosquito. Ah, uh, new kid, take a seat. Oh, have a seat, Thunderpants. Oh, have a seat, Thunderpants. But Lord, I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just, uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not going to have three classes. New kid? New kid, no, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes. It, you think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? Assassin. Psychic. Cyborg. Brutalist. Speedster. Speedster. Might piss off Fast Pass, but sure. Brutalist. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. A Brutalist. All bronze, no brains. A good choice for you. Cyborg. 
Cyborg. Cyborg, more machine than man. Psychic. A sense of urgency is also an important trait for superheroes. Psychic. Don't try to read my mind, but who? Assassin. An assassin. Not sure if you're cool enough, but whatever. Gadgeteer. Oh, a gadgeteer, like Tupperware. Are you rich, too? Okay, but if you're gonna be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. And in the mirror, you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. As a gadgeteer hero, you knew you could answer these intruders with whatever inventions you had in store. First, you decided to change the battlefield to your advantage with your straight shooter turret gun. the threat that your gadget presented and swiftly took it out. But you had way more gadgets where that came from. An automaton shaped in your image. The intruders move closer, ignorant of the power that lay behind your creation's friendly smile. While the intruders ears were still ringing from the blast, you pulled out your next shocking invention. Intruders moved in to retaliate. But your electric device is a gift that keeps on giving. The remaining intruder moved in. Without any of your inventions available, he was able to get in a critical hit. Severely damaged, it was time to call your final and most powerful invention to your side. The Airborne Annihilator! Kids and your damn toys. The alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, butt lord. You still have a lot of things to do. Dude, I heard about you flying around with human kite on your back. That's, that's pretty gay. I see FastPass juiced you up with some hero DNA. Feels good, huh? Jesus Christ, butt lord, you're back again? We're done here, move along. I need space, butthole. Move along. 
Dude, I heard about you flying around with human kite on your back. That's, that's pretty gay. Hello, it's me, the Keen Store. I have new super sweet inventory. store of Cunin, friends. New kid, this is Fast Pass. Get to the playground. One of the Freedom Pals is calling us out. I'll show you how to pop wheelies. Sure, I'll let you in the bank after the markets collapse. That vigilante has given us all something to believe in. 